Rick Grimes is the heart of The Walking Dead, and seeing him back in The Ones Who Live has me really excited, so this week I decided to make a diorama based on The Walking Dead. I started off and made this thing using some foam and cork board and then a little bit of air dry clay to sculpt out the landscape that I was going to set this scene on. I just used my fingers to mold the clay a little bit. And I also added a little bit of rubble on this cork board, which is eventually going to be the road. I used a little bit of deco art paints to base coat the scene. Followed that up with a quick dry brush. And then finally, a nice heavy wash of watered down deco art paint and Mod Podge. The road was looking a little dark so I hit it with some more grey. Then I decided to make some fence posts using some popsicle sticks and barbecue skewers. And these things shot all over the workstation. All I had to do here was drill some holes, put the posts in place. And then once that was done, I cut down the popsicle sticks and used a little bit of crazy glue and put them in place. And I decided to make one section all smashed up. And this is where the zombies were going to break through. A quick wash with some Citadel shade. And this basically stained this wood to a nice warm brown color. Then I got these really cool trees from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks and I was really surprised because it was an entire bag full and they were actually a really good quality. So I just randomly started to drill holes and place in different sized trees. My goal here was to kind of block off the background so you couldn't really see through the diorama that well. Once that was done, I used some watered down glue and a little bit of jungle flock basing, followed by some static grass, some um, green flock, and just odds and ends that I had. I also had these little twigs, and I glued those in place too. Once that was done, I watered down some glue and I flooded the entire thing in glue and water. And this is to make sure that everything sticks. Then another quick little dry brush of a lighter gray on that pavement and I was starting to like the way it looked. I masked off a little line and made some white mark to represent the end of the road here. A few army painter tufts in the cracks and this thing was looking pretty cool. The scene is done and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks great. The next thing I got to do is 3D print and paint all the miniatures we're going to use in this project. So I fired up Voxel Dance Tango and I found these free zombie files that were already pre-supported on Thingiverse. But I had a lot of trouble finding a Rick Grimes miniature. I did find this statue. What I ended up doing was scaling it down roughly to the height of one of those zombies, which was about 25% of its original size. Now at the time, I didn't know this, but this was a hollow model, which would give me a little bit of trouble down the road. But either way, I tilted it back about 15 degrees and used this onboard auto supports feature to generate my supports. Here you can see my settings where I like to kind of make them a little bit smaller to do less damage to the miniature. Just like that, supports were created and I went ahead and sliced this thing up. Like always, I like to watch it to make sure that it's gonna print correctly. Sometimes you can catch weird things like it floating off the bed. Once it was good to go, I threw it in my Frozen Muddy 4K, and again, perfect print, except you'll notice Rick, that's because he was hollow. So I went ahead and made him solid in a different program, reprinted them exactly the same, no problems. Once I popped him off the build plate, I threw him in my Frozen wash machine, and you can see here these twin impellers really get this alcohol moving, and it does an excellent job cleaning resin prints. Then into my frozen cure machine for three minutes and these things were perfectly cleaned and cured. And they popped out of supports really nicely. The next thing I did was bust out my gallery airbrush and I base coated these in some necrotic flesh. 
Then I just went ahead and used all solid colors because the plan was to really, really weather these miniatures down. Once that was done, I absolutely flooded them with some Army Painter Strong Tone. And I followed that up with some Nolan Oil Wash and these things were looking real dirty and grimy just like they are in The Walking Dead. Then a little bit of blood splatter using my airbrush and a loaded up brush. Here you can see these things are awesome and I gotta take a second to thank my Patreons. We're doing all kinds of cool stuff over there like exclusive videos and content. Check it out if you want to support the channel or if you're just looking for some fun stuff to pass your time. Now it was time for this Rick miniature. I was actually surprised how well these details held up after I scaled down that statue. So I went ahead and I dry brushed everything gray except for the alt for torso, got an extra dry brush of white. Then it was time to apply some Army Painter Speed Paints. First up with some brown on the trousers. Then a little bit of pallid bone on the coat. And you can see here with this upper half being a little bit lighter, this really helped set the tone differences in these two colors. I picked out some of the details like the belt, the badge, his shoes and stuff like that. Then I decided to take some epoxy putty and make a muzzle flare and the back of one zombie's head exploding. I just wanted to add some more dynamics to the diorama. I always use a little bit of crazy glue to fast set this epoxy to allow me to continue painting. Then I went in and just quickly done the flesh tones. Quick dry brush of some oranges and yellows on that muzzle flash. And I got to say, Rick Grimes was looking pretty good. I was happy with it. I would have liked to spend more time on it, but I really wanted to get this video out there to coincide with the release of The Ones That Live. Running a YouTube channel is a lot of work, but watching the subscriber can grow and chatting with everyone in the comments makes it all worthwhile. We are always making cool stuff here at Facility D20, whether that be miniatures, dioramas, or props. So go ahead and join the facility by smashing that subscribe button and help us get to 20,000 members this year. Minis are done, so now this is the favorite part of every build when I get to put everything all together. I just used a little bit of crazy glue here and fixed all these zombies into position. Then, Rick and this zombie with his head blown off, I put both of them in at the same time to get the angle right. Then, at the last minute, I decided to add an LED light bulb. I really liked how the muzzle flash and the brain explosion made this much more dynamic of a diorama. I've been watching The Walking Dead for decades, so it's really cool to see Rick Grimes back. Make sure to check out some other videos on my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.